New tonight, we're continuing to press for answers on those stolen airport explosives. And we're getting them straight from the Phoenix Police Chief. The explosives safely back where they belong now, but how did they go missing without anybody noticing and without being caught anywhere on surveillance cameras? And why did it take two days to sound the alarm? And what happens to those responsible for this oversight? ABC 15's Christopher Sign is going in depth on this tonight. And Chris, you had a lot of questions for the police chief. Is he saying whether anybody's in trouble here? Well, Steve, first off, not only did he answer all of my questions, but yes, he did indicate there will be disciplinary actions. Also, he said he personally is reviewing the protocol and the handling of the explosives to find out if new measures are necessary. Amid the busy Labor Day weekend, about a dozen Phoenix police officers conduct a canine training exercise inside Terminal 4 at Sky Harbor using live explosives. And among the crowd, the pound of explosives disappears. It's just not acceptable. Acting Chief Joe Yonner says he wants answers, starting with a person called the safety officer, whose only job was to watch the explosives. That's that's the crux of the matter right there. What was he doing? Why wasn't he watching? Our protocols are very specific. It's eyes on at all times. I have several sources within your department that have talked to me about this, and they've been very frank that they're upset, they're embarrassed, they call this reckless. How do you respond to the people within your own ranks that are saying this about this situation? Well, I'm concerned, and, and I don't know that any of those three words apply. I think it was a mistake. The explosives went missing Friday. The public wasn't alerted to be on the lookout until late Sunday night. Do you think that, that the public should have been notified earlier? Uh, we made sure that we, we searched the airport high and low. We made sure we coordinated with all our federal partners, and we were moving towards uh, advising the media. When the media was advised, thank goodness, through your sources and your ability to get information out that we found it. Some of my sources said that there's a possibility that if there's negligence on behalf of your officers, there could be federal charges. And that's one of the things that we're going to have to coordinate with our federal partners to ensure that uh, if that's the case, that's the case. I mean, it is what it is. Yonner says all of the officers involved are now being questioned. Christopher Sign, ABC 15 News.